everyone, it's Victoria here. I hope all is well with you. So this time I'm going to be talking about when your confidence is at an all-time low. We've all been there and it's just not a good place to be. Um, so I'm hoping to give you a little bit of reassurance. So whether you've been shooting for a matter of months or you know maybe you've been shooting for years and years, we can all lose our confidence and it's just not cool. I think as women, many of us can struggle a little bit more, this is generally speaking, uh, than the guys do. And we've all been in situations where we've just lost our confidence and doubt has started to creep in. It's the worst. So losing confidence in yourself as a shooter is just hideous. Like, you can be on top of your game one week and then the next week you just can't hit a barn door. It's frustrating, It's it can be upsetting, and it often feels as though it will never end. So I've been there on a few occasions, quite a few occasions actually, something has just triggered me off and I've lost all faith in myself and as a result I've shot in a way that, you know, it's just kind of dented my pride, uh, I felt mortified and I've just wanted the ground to swallow me up. I felt like I've had to explain myself away, I've just felt like just rubbish and I've just felt like I just didn't want to be there. It's awful. Life's tough enough, let alone when something you love is making you feel like this. But there is a but. Now, when I have a bad day, I just draw a line under it. I'm there, I, I'm there to have fun, uh, to be with my friends, to be outside and to do what I love. And um, one day, a few years ago, I just decided to make the conscious decision not to let my performance ruin my day and to stop making excuses. And it's made such a difference. Um, if I feel lousy about my performance on one stand now, I'll just take some deep breaths, usually distract myself, probably having a look through Instagram, and then I crack back on. You know, it's not the end of the world, and it took me a long time to realise that. Every stand you shoot is another chance to start, and start again. A bad round isn't the be-all and end-all, and a lot of it for me is just mindset. I accept that every stand is a new chance to start again. I accept that it's not the end of the world if I don't hit everything. I've shot horrendously in the past. <laughs> People I don't know, like awful and some something you know I can't even put my finger on what it is has made me feel uncomfortable and I've just gone to pot but I overcome this by I, I take it back to basics and I shoot with my best friends literally just take all the pressure off shoot a round or two and just prove it's like I have to reprove to myself that I'm a good shot but so many things can set you off into a downward spiral it could be pressure the people you're with uh, people stood behind you or you might just you know like me just have a lot on your mind it could be anything but if you're having consistently bad days, then it could be something fundamentally wrong with, you know, your equipment, uh, something that you might need help with. It could be that you need your gun fitted or altered. You might have had it done already, but it might need redoing. It could be your eye dominance, which has changed, or it could just be your gun mount. Um, if, it's, if you think it's one of these, or if you are kind of consistently shooting badly, then an hour with an expert might be able to kind of, you know, put you back on track, or hopefully it'll be able to put you back on track. But if you've done all of the above um, and you're sure it's not your eyes, your gun mount or your gun fit, then maybe you need to do, maybe you just need to take it back to basics and just get booked in for some lessons. It could be that you've picked up some bad habits um, and you just need to, you might just need to go back to the drawing board. I had some lessons recently as I just wasn't on my game and my instructor instantly put, picked up how I was waiting way too late to shoot a target. And I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> I just lost faith in myself. And he just fixed me up within about two minutes. But if you're not in a position straight away to get some coaching or to see an expert, talk to people in your network about it, share what's happened and seek advice. You just don't know who's been in the same kind of situation. Or there could be psych something psychological going on. You might have got yourself into a rut which you can't get yourself out of. And you just need to get to the bottom of why you're feeling like it. Maybe write it down. I know it sounds a bit weird, but you can get over it. And I'm kind of here today to tell you to stop giving yourself a hard time. Beating yourself up won't change things and it will just make you worse, but being kind to yourself, taking a deep breath and just starting over and getting help where you need it will. So remember why you started shooting. Walk away if you have to, have a look at Instagram and just, you know, do what you can to move forward. So I think the, the point of this video is just to kind of tell you not to give yourself such a hard time. If you think there's something fundamentally wrong, you know, that you're, you know, you're doing, you know, you've got your kind of eye on the bird and you're doing what you think you're meant to be doing and you're just not hitting then maybe it's time to get in the experts but shooting it's leisure we do it because we love it and you know if you're in a rut you will get over it and if you are and you want some advice do uh, leave a message in the comments below and um, I shall see you next time you can do this